What's going on guys? So I am back at Heathrow Airport and this time I'm going to Santiago in Chile. Like my last adventure, this is all new territory for me. I've never been to South America before, so I'm absolutely ecstatic. Like I said in my last video, I'm dressed smart again, too smart for an airport if you ask me, and that's because I know someone that works at British Airways and there's a high possibility that I could be upgraded to business or first class, but in order to qualify, you have to dress a certain way. So fingers crossed, if I don't, I've got a rucksack full of uh, joggers and normal clothes, let's put it that way. So yeah, excited is an understatement. Can't wait, back again with Giorgio as well. Let's get it. So guys, I've managed to get into first class. This is my first time in first class. I'm absolutely ecstatic. I've got my own like room. <laughs> hey, you rich people ain't got a clue where you're living, mate. This is the bollocks. Um, it's gonna make the next 14 hours a lot more enjoyable. So yeah, I'll give you a little tour as well when we're up and, up and about in the air. So we have just touched down in Santiago, checked into the hotel, which is ledge by the way, massive room, lovely bathroom. Uh, it was a 14 hour flight, probably the best flight of my entire life. As you've seen, I flew first class. It's the first time I've ever flown first class as well. And just wow, how the other half live. Um, got a nice solid eight hours sleep. Uh, got some good food, got some editing done as well. Um, it's 10 a.m. here now, so I'm nice and refreshed. Got the whole day ahead of us. And uh, I think we're gonna go check out the pool and then make plans for tonight. Wow. 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 How the other half live. Wow, how the other half live. <laughs> <laughs> Tired, yeah? Classic, Do have enough? They're not brokers though. Huh? They're not brokers. It's nice though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pinky. So we've ordered these drinks and they're absolutely wild. We just just the pictures. That is rough. <laughs> so we're playing. You guys it can't quite handle it. The booze. Excellent. Oh, that's cute. Georgia's making friends. <laughs> what are you making us then, mate? What we got? Drink it today, then. With ice. Go on, mate. Give us something traditional. Yeah? 
Gracias. Wow, that is really good. This is my name is Georgia. You know what it is? It's a shark. It's a shark. It's like a knife. 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 We are going to arrange the table and then we're going to let you in, okay? Two minutes. Can we sit downstairs? It's okay? Yes. I was shaking my hand, I don't know why. I think you're a celebrity. We four, four people shake my hand. Georgia has a bit of a face around here. Bit of a big guy. Bit of a bootleg, stay all over here. Bit of a man. Bit of a geek. Bit of a geek. <laughs> <laughs> bit of a man. Um, so we've come to this. I think it's a Chilean restaurant. Uh, is it? Yeah. Well, it's on the border, so we're gonna we're gonna say it's a, <laughs> we're gonna say it's a South American restaurant, and uh, we've been told it's amazing. It's it's got one of the best steaks in the whole of Santiago, so we're gonna hit it up. Nah. Thank you very much. Thank you. What are you getting, mate? Just um, some wine. Oh yeah. Georgia with the wine connoisseur. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> Georgia has been sold to. Let's get it. We keep ordering stuff, we don't know what we're ordering. Right face, mate. Jesus Christ. Very <laughs> quickly, what they want. Yeah, get that. I'm in it for happy hour. Is that the one that's in the desk? Lovely, lovely. <laughs> He means business. He means business. He's not playing about this guy. He's getting his money as well. Chew it. Chew it. He doesn't like this food, does he? Lovely. Lovely. Bueno. That's really good. Much Exactly that. Exactly that. Bueno. Wow. Glass region. It's better lag, better lag. There you are, mate. I'm going to bed, mate. See you later, mate. How are you feeling, mate? Fine, mate. Yeah. I'm hungover as fuck. 
I'm doing, I'm doing this in the car, mate. So, this is the whip for today. Where are we going, mate? Alright, nowhere then, huh? <laughs> Me and Gio are en route to the hot springs in the mountains. We've rented out a Jeep for the day, which is pretty sick. I'm absolutely hanging out my ass. I'm tired. Just had a Starbucks. Hopefully that perks me up a bit. It's quite a distance as well. Um, we can see the mountains in front of us right now. Look. Quite a distance. It's quite misty out, but it's still pretty sick. Oh, look at that arm, mate. Oh, mate. Got a tense arm and drive. Gone. No, you prick. <laughs> While steering. <laughs> there you go. That's the money shot, mate. I'm going to make the thumbnail of the video. <laughs> I've got to drive back, so hopefully I'll perk up by then because at the moment I couldn't think of anything worse than driving. Last night got pretty out of hand. I drank way too much. Uh, um, but one thing I am happy about is we didn't let that stop us from going out. We was up at eight. Delayed. Yeah, we've, we've, we've delayed ourselves this morning because we went walking around a shopping mall for about two hours in the customer service. On a scale of 1 to 10, how painful was that? The worst experience. The customer service. Should have just got McDonald's. Right? We should have. Shall I tell you what the customer service was like? You know in, um, oh, what's that film where there's sloth? You know the sloth is the server? I don't know mate. What's that film? Wait. They're all sloths? Basically, we went to this mall and everything was slow motion. No one was doing anything with any kind of speed. It was it was ridiculous. Uh, so, we, and the food was fucking shit as well. Like it was anyway, bad experience. I invested a lot of my life this morning in this mall trying to get some food, and it was just ridiculous. Anyway, positives: we didn't let the hangover stop us from being productive we are out we are on the way to the hot springs and we're gonna have a sick time so that is what's happening this is an epic photo mate you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take me top off there we go Because we're so high up, the crisps are <laughs> highly inflated because of the altitude. Mad. After a two hour journey, I think we're like 8,000 feet up, we are finally at the springs. Just got to hike up this little bit here there as you can see from the scenery behind me it's absolutely sick out here we made it though So, I think we're like 8,000 feet up, and we made it to the hot springs. Oh. This is sick, mate. This is all natural. How mad's that? I've had absolute murders. I've got to the springs and my camera has just died and my GoPro isn't working and it's fully charged so luckily I have my phone and it shoots in 4k otherwise I'm screwed um, but yeah it is, it is mad out here I can't actually believe how warm the water is I'm not even in it yet because my uh, so there's like stages to it like the ones as you can see the ones below me 
they're cooler and the ones at the top as you get higher are bloody boiling Look, this is really hot and the hottest ones at the top we, we haven't even gone into it yet because it's so bloody hot because this is naturally heated and you wouldn't believe unless you're in it how warm it is it's so hot Jesus no it's too hot I can't go in there for too long kettle water it's like kettle water <laughs> oh, do you want to do the honours mate? no you can mate yeah? yeah you know how to pop, probably pop one of these better than I do yeah, alright so you just got to... we're celebrating from the, the, the most cliche thing ever more life Oh. <laughs> Go on, mate, take Go a swig. <laughs> I popped it, you swig it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you gotta give it air, mate. <laughs> Wrong hole. <laughs> Should we give it to the locals? <laughs> well, they've only won, won't they? Anyone want some? Yeah? Yes? Yes? Happy <laughs> so. Share it real. Salute. Yeah, salute. Mr. Worldwide! Winner! That's what we do. Sharing with the locals. Celebrating life. Celebrating life. Celebrate life. Salute. 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 Mr. Worldwide! Watch out, that's what? Mr. Worldwide! What are we celebrating, Georgia? Celebrating life. We're just celebrating life. Life is good. I think it's not appreciated enough. So why not share a, share a bottle of champagne? Bought from Maidstone, England. And from, bought from Maidstone, England and celebrate with the locals on the mountain. What's better than that? I'm just going to... This We've come down to the lower part and it's a lot more clay here. And this is the stuff you put on your skin. So apparently it's really good. Skin. Like it stinks as shit. Absolute smells like rotten eggs, mate. So I've got the clay from the baths on my face. Apparently it's really good for your skin. Um, it's full of sulfur, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, I'm on 4% battery, so this is me signing off. But wow, what a day. Poor Chilean wine tasting today. Is that good or not? Yes? Very good. Want to or to have a coffee, etc. It, actually, the wine cellar is probably the place where you are. So me and Gio are up nice and early once again. We have come to a winery called Santa Rita. Um, after yesterday going to the thermal baths, we were pretty much knackered. Um, we got a really early night. I think we went to bed like quarter past ten, half ten, passed out. And was up at like six. So we are fresh today. No hangovers. We haven't had breakfast though. We've had a bag of crisps between us. <laughs> a share bag. But yeah, so we're on empty stomachs and we're about to go do some wine tasting, which will be very interesting. How you feeling, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah. So yeah, it's a bit misty out. Uh, the sun's going to come out in about a couple of hours. But for now, it is very misty. And it isn't that warm. But it's no colder than England, so... I can actually feel mist on my face and your arms, and your arms yeah. So yeah, been a proper tourist today. You are. Yeah, you are as well, mate. Cheers, mate. Uh, these salmon. Yeah, we have a croissant with German cheese, salmon sandwich, and uh, just a panini. Good. Managed to get a smoked salmon sandwich and brown bread. And it's good. How's that fit with macros, mate? Just, just coming in under, mate. <laughs> Yes. 
Ready to get what full of dust, you say? Oh my gosh. Yeah, great. Those are pretty shoes. G great, great start to the day though, right? Yeah. It's nice. Kind of sad. Well, first, of course, all your shoes are full of dust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is part of the Maipo Valley condition, okay? First condition here. This fog that you can see is just humidity. And it's kind of a characteristic that comes from the foot of the end of the they're gonna see how sweet they are. <laughs> They're like really purple. Uh huh. Much yeah. bigger than this. Okay. We harvest mm. only once a year. Uh, we get fresher than that, mate. Dusty. Mm. My favorite. Really Sooty. Last one. My shoes are absolutely ruined. Mine were pink. They're now brown. Come on, mate. You look a bit out of breath. I'm fine, mate. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine, mate. Okay, guys, grab one. Salt. I spoke very quick of the conditions there. I spoke about the fog, humidity, salt from the ocean, and that is perfect for the white wine. <laughs> When you try a red one, in fact, nice. we're going to try it. Uh... This tasting, we're going to enjoy this 15 15 bucks wines. Yes, Sauvignon Blanc, Santa Rita 120, then our Cabernet Sauvignon Reserve, and our famous Cabernet, the Grand Reserve Cabernet for you. Yes, go to enjoy this tasting. Fresh, very cool, very elegant, good acidity. You compare our Sauvignon Blanc, it's called Secret Reserve, it's a reserve wine. Mm. Uh, they picked the grapes in March uh, 2018, right here in the micro body. No, but also this wine's oaky. Mm. Eight months in American oak barrels, mm. yes, it's oaky, but mm. also <coughs> it's smoky, it's toasty, yes. And a little bit peppery, something nice for me. It's really delicate, delicious. Uh, a little bit astringent, a little bit with smoke toast in it. It's called Cabernet from 2016, aged one year in French oak barrels. Enjoy our Cabernet. La Copa de Glass is a present for you. Salud. Oh, brilliant. Salud. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Gracias, La Copa. Taxa, un regalo, muchas gracias, salud. Wine connoisseur. Wine connoisseur, man. So that is us for the day. Wine tasting is done. Um, really good. But weren't worth the money. Bottle for the road. Bottle for the, for the road. Um, yeah, it was good. Um, I don't think it was worth the money though. It was, I think, 60 quid. Was it 60 quid? Yeah, I think it was like 60 quid. Yeah. It was good, but it weren't worth 60 quid. It's the experience, like understanding everything about the. I'm not saying it wasn't worth it because we didn't get a lot of alcohol. I'm saying it was not worth it because it's just, hell, we're running up for it very long. No, well, I'm comparing it. To, I've done one in Tuscany, in Italy, and it was a lot longer and it was cheaper. And I enjoyed it more. So, because of your ex. <laughs> yes. So, me and Giorgio come straight from the wine tasting, and we're now at a local market in the city centre. We're trying to find some traditional Chilean food because we haven't actually experienced anything like proper traditional as of yet. It's like a, it's a national holiday out here. It's Good Friday. They call it, what do they call it? Call it Ho Holy Friday, don't they out here? Yeah, it's called Ho Holy Friday. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's exactly that. We call, it, we call it Good Friday in the UK. They call it Holy Friday out here. So yeah, a lot of people, we need to find a restaurant because we're starving. Oh mate, it does smell good right here. It's mad. Fuck, 
fucking it's busy in it. Look at this. How'd you like your fish juice in your shoe, mate? As you can tell, it is proper packed out in here. Full of the locals all celebrating Holy Friday. Mad. We are proper amongst it here, right in the middle of the market. How are you doing, mate? You alright? What's your name? What's your name? Tom, mate. Uh, how are you doing, Tom? You alright? <laughs> So these are clams covered in mozzarella cheese. Last time I had shellfish, oysters in France, and I got really ill. So. so, me and Gio have both ordered sea bass and mashed potato, but as you can see, we didn't get mashed potato. We brought out chips, and when we said we asked mashed potato, they said they'd run out, so that's what we got. I success I've unsuccessfully sorry not had a meal yet where I've gone well. And I don't know whether that's because of the choices of restaurants I've gone to or the lack of wow factor there is out here in Santiago. I think there's a lack of wow factor with food. Maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like the food is great out here. It's not bad. You know, like, oh, I don't know about you guys, but when I go out to a country, I like to try their, I like to try the traditional dishes. I like to get amongst their their food and taste what they eat. And, and, pff, just disappointed to be honest. Don't get me wrong, Chile, Chile's sick. It's my first South American country, but I'm not impressed by the food. I've got one more day for something to change my mind. Hopefully, something does change my mind. But, so far, it's just been mediocre. Me and Gio have rented these scooters. They are absolutely rapid. Rapido. But rapido. I would video while being on them, but it's nearly impossible to try and record while using the on button. Show us how quick they are, mate, go on. That doesn't look that rapid. I'm, I've, it looks like I've just oversold it. Mine's rapid. I'll just see if I can get some footage of me on it. Oh fuck! <laughs> you know this place got has got money written all over it when they give you an electronic menu per person. Just say. What we've done is drink wine this holiday, mate. I don't even, I don't even drink wine. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, it's a trip. Uh, just happy now to get back to the swing of things. I mean, that's done me done for travelling for a while. I might try and uh, plan my beef for it uh, in the summer. But at the moment, that has been done. Uh, unless a crazy opportunity finds me, uh, I think I'll be pretty grounded. Uh, get my head back into training and uh, yeah, I'll take the YouTube to the next level. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys, like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next video.